Hello guys, sorry I haven't done a video of maybe a month now or over, I'm really sorry, but I was taking some time off for me to focus on my school and all that stuff. Still need to focus on my school, however, it is half term. So, with that being said, let's get into this video. This video is all the books that I have checked out while purchased in the last um, two months. There's a lot of books, there's 10 plus books. By the way, these are books that I have purchased both outside of school and inside of school because um, my school has a really big, well not a really big library, but has a considerably large library. Uh, so yeah, we can take out books and put them back in, you know how it goes. So I'm also going to include those books. So yeah, let's get into the video. So the first thing that I, the two first things that I purchased at the top of my two months was this is the only reason I made it two months instead of one month because of these two books. Yes, they have featured in my top ten summer books or something like that. I don't I don't even remember my own um, videos, but yes, this is my One of Us is Lying book. I have finished it. It was so so good. The twist at the end was mm, I'm not gonna spoil it because just in case you guys are looking to read it, but. Mm -mm. Oh shoot, <laughs> man down. Okay, but the other book is P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Han. I love this book with all my heart. Well, both of these books with all my heart. Definitely my top two favorite books, definitely, of 2020. Okay, the next three are great. Well, technically four because I don't have the other one because I put it back in school. However, um, the first ever book I took out of my school library was A Series of Unfortunate Events. This is number two, uh, two, number two, three, and four. But my first book I took out was number one. And yes, it was, let's just say it was so, so good. So I just have to take out, because I watched the series as you, as I probably have mentioned before, I'm not sure, but I watched the series during quarantine and I loved it, so I was just like, let's read the books. And they had 9 out of 13 of the books at school, so I was just like, chat But yeah, I'm making my through that has, uh, consider, I'm a fast reader, but considering all these books I have to read, because I haven't read most of these books yet, because they are new, um, yeah. I'm reading them fast. <laughs> for the um, for the amount, I think I'm reading them pretty fast. So, I'm making it through my my way. I'm halfway through the second book, and then I'm gonna start the third and then the fourth one. Okay. I'm also so this is a book that I just got today from Amazon. I'm really really excited. But I basically got these two, uh, this uh, this book, and it's called uh, a Murder Most Unladylike Mystery. And it's basically a series of books. So, Goldie, can you be quiet, please? Anyway, <coughs> it's basically a series of books of, I don't know how to describe it, Murder Most Unladylike. And this one is Death Set Sail. It's not the, f I don't believe it's the first book. However, I do believe that every book is a different book. Like, maybe, like, the same main character, but I think they're, like, different stories. So I think I'm pretty fine with reading, like, a, a, a newer book. Okay. Uh, this is, uh, these two books actually are for my mom. So, shh, it's for her birthday, coming up in a week. So, yeah, hopefully she doesn't watch this video. Um, I will tell her not to, but I got her this book called the, she's in the bathroom right now, so I have to be quiet, but I got her this book called The Bluest Eyes by Toni Morrison. I'm not really sure that much about what it's about, however I am, however, Oprah, you know how, like, they have the things at the back, like, the reviews, Oprah reviewed it, so, if Oprah reviewed it, it has to be good, so I'm definitely going to be stealing that from her. Oh, no, I'm not stealing. I'm borrowing it from her. And also, I got her I Know Why the Caged Bird Sings. And this is actually a book I've been wanting to read for a while, and it's by Maya Angelou. And still, it's again for her. Uh, but um, Barack Obama reviewed it, so yet again, I have to just borrow it. Okay. 
Uh, these three books are just books I got today. Literally today, that's why I'm making this video. Uh, I got this book. As you cannot guess, it is just... I don't want the pile of books I'm making right next to me to fall down, so let's be careful, Karma. Yes, no books fell. But I got... I'm actually so happy for this. I got the first book to the second book. I'm so happy. Look, look, that's Laura Jean. Well, at least in the movie. <sighs> I'm a lucky bird. Well, at least in my book. That's what I consider lucky. Um, the next book is actually a book that me and my mom are probably going to be fighting over. Well, not fighting over. Just going to be... She's going to borrow... I'm borrowing a book from her. She's borrowing a book from me. It's all Gucci. <laughs> I don't know why I said that. But anyway. Um, so, yeah. She's probably going to be borrowing this from me after I finish it. But it's called The Family Upstairs. Um, Yes. As you can see, I like a lot of murder mysteries, and I like a lot of rom-coms, and I like a lot of sad books from a series of such events. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited to read that. I don't know that much about it, but just because of the title, I was just like, oh, obviously, a book that screams my name. The next book that I have gotten just today was um, This Lie Will Kill You. A very pleasant title, as you can see. But uh, it's the main reason I got this because it says for fans of One of Us Lying. As you can see, I am a One of Us is Lying fan. And as you will see later, I have gotten other books from that author to do with the same series. So yeah, definitely, definitely a One of Us is Lying fan. So yeah, I'm. So yeah, I got that book. I'm actually really excited for that one, especially. Okay, this is a book I know I just started school a month ago, but I've already joined a club and it's a very basic club. Um, it's the nerd club. Um, I joined book club. Sue me. <laughs> and in that book club, we are right now reading The New Boy. If you don't know what it's about, neither do I. I'm joking. I know somewhat of what it's about, but not really. Like, I remember we read the bird blurb, and it's kind of about this boy who's kind of like an alien or something. Um, like, people like him? Anyway, we're reading this book. <laughs> we're reading this book. And I'm really excited to read that. I haven't, I, we, um, we got this book like two weeks ago, and I haven't read it yet, so. Well, three weeks now that we're in half term, but yeah. I need to start reading that. Um, hopefully, the librarian doesn't watch this video. Hopefully, she doesn't because I haven't told anybody my YouTube channel for a reason. Um, <clears throat> I saw a book I got. Another book from Amazon because Amazon's books are so cheap for an 11 year old who goes off of allowance. So, yeah, I got a Riverdale book. <sighs> sweet, sweet Riverdale. Where did I begin? The show show. The show. The show show. Season 1 was so 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 good. Season 2 was so 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 weird. Season 3 was so 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 stupid. And then season 4 was just so so so. Hated. <laughs> that got serious real fast. But yeah. I don't think most people like season 4. And if they did. It's probably because they like the cat. Like they probably think the characters are hot. hot. I'm not even going to joke. Like, nobody likes it for the plot. We just watch it to to laugh and look at... And other people look at hot characters. I watch anime for that. <laughs> I'm sharing so much on this video. video. Sorry, Nan. I'm sorry, Nan, if you're watching. And Mom, after your birthday, hopefully. But yeah, I got that book. It's based off of season one, but there's also season two and season three and season three and season four. And season five is coming out. This November, actually. Oh, it's coming out this November. I forgot about that. Oh, yes. Ah, so I'm going to know the plot before it even the show even comes out in, July, in January. Don't ask me why I know that. Anyway, that was a rant about Riverdale, but yeah, I got the first book. I actually, and it's the novel of it, not the actual comic book. But yeah, I hope, I haven't been able to find where I can get the comic books yet. I'm going to a comic book store tomorrow, so hope, well, hopefully tomorrow, maybe not. But hopefully we can find it there. And then, you might think this is the last book, but it's not. Wait a minute, is it the last book? 
Have I take? No, it's not the last book. No, it's not. I have mangas to do next. I've only. It's only two mangas. Don't you, you anime haters don't don't hate yet. Don't dislike the video yet. Anyway, <laughs> I got two could keep a secret also from Amazon. Again, cheap, and also as a deal if you get two of them, you get seven pounds. Like, I'm on allowance. I'm going off allowance. I'm not even a middle class, <laughs> like middle, um, <clears throat> middle working, whatever they called it. They call it middle class working. I'm just off of allowance, so yeah. But yeah, it's actually, um, I, I thought it was going to be about like a continuation of one of us line, but it ended up being, um, it ended up being like a whole entire different story, but I'm actually here for it. So yeah. Um, those are all the regular books that I've read. Well, going to read 